Hi, my name is Curtis Bates and I'm the owner of Tykes Bikes. Uh, we're putting this video on our website to uh, help you assemble a Tykes bike. Um, paper instructions tend to be uh, confusing and small print and whatnot, hard to read. So this video will help you put together your Tykes bike. All right, so I've taken everything out of the box and I've placed it in front of me. You should have a set of handlebars frame, the seat, a bag, which is called the tool kit, but there's no tools, we're going to do this all by hand, and front wheel with the forks, okay? So, we take everything out of our tool kit here, this is the handlebar pad, safety pad, Put it down. There are the written instructions if you want to take a look at those as reference. Okay. There's a small wrench, but you won't need that for anything. So you can put that aside. There's also two quick releases. And four washers. Two of the washers are small, like a little flange or a spacer, and the other two are larger. And we'll show you how this works. Okay? You take one of the larger washers and one of the smaller washers, mm -hmm. pick up your front wheel. Right? The smaller washer goes on first, and then the larger washer goes on with the smaller side up. There's a smaller side, a wedge side, and then a flat side. Flat side goes down and the wedge side goes up. All right, and that slides on there. All right, the next thing you do is pick up your frame and place the tube inside the throat of the frame. And that'll sit snugly on the bottom in that larger washer. Right. And what I like to do is I like to hold the bike in between my feet, the front tire, and that keeps it in place. And then I take my big washer again with the smaller opening down this time and the larger opening up. And I slide that on the tube okay. and push that into the frame. Then you take your smaller washer place that on the tube as well. And that's a spacer. Then you take a quick release. All right. There's an opening. That opening goes towards the back of the bike. All right. Undo the crank. This is called the crank. And there's a little flange inside that won't let you put the quick release onto the tubing the wrong way. It goes on the right way the opening to the back of the bike. Then we can twist this little nut, just hand tighten it, All right. and then you take your handlebar, you place that into the tube, leave it up a little high to start off with because what you're going to do is take this crank and spin it backwards towards you twice to tighten the quick release once, and twice, All right? Then we can drop down the handlebar, put it in place where we want it, and crank that tight. And that takes a bit of a strong hand, but it's not that difficult. Then we take the pad, the handlebar safety pad, and wrap it around the handlebars. And there's your handlebar and your front end done. Now we got to do the seat. Basically, move the bike a little closer to you so you can reach the seat and pull that out. All right, put it on the ground. Then you want to open up the quick release again. All right, and with that open part towards the back tire again, place it on the seat tube. All right, and that sits on there. And then we want to hand tighten that as well. 
best we can. It doesn't have to be that tight. And then you take your seat, put it into this tube, but again, leave enough room because we're going to crank this quick release backwards again towards us to tighten it. So once, twice, line it up. Then we can drop our seat in place to where we want to size our child. And when you're sizing your child, you want the seat in their crotch with both feet on either side of the bike flat, not up on their tippy toes and not with their knees bent down low onto the bike. Okay? And then you crank that tight. And there you have it. Your tights bike is put together. If you have any questions or concerns, you can call our toll-free number at 1-855-648-2453. Again, that number is 1-855-648-2453. We know you're going to enjoy uh, watching your child learn to ride on a tight bike. Take care.